what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are out here at graveling bayou just put in at the boat ramp now we're gonna have a bunch of kayakers out here today the local kayak fishing club is launching from this location today we did beat them out here by a few minutes a couple guys are getting ready but uh we're gonna be battling some wind today y'all it's 12 to 15 mile an hour east winds southeast winds so we're gonna go find some hidden waters from the winds um i did fish earlier this week and ended up catching a few flounder but we're gonna go try to hit a few spots see if we can get on some fish y'all y'all stay tuned all right guys so before we get into the fishing portion of this video just wanted to do a quick rundown of what i had to experience from the time i launched that boat to the time y'all see this first fish caught was a good three hours and it was about a four mile paddle between the, by the time i left that boat ramp to that first fish it was four miles i went and hit all my spots that i normally fish usually pick up a fish or two on could not buy a bite so ended up jumping on google maps pulled up an area that i've never been to before i was kind of feeling defeated since i hadn't caught any fish so i figured why not give this a shot go try somewhere new um, and like i said from the boat ramp it's about a four mile paddle to this location so it worked out it was worth the risk um, as y'all about to see we got into some nice fish so without further ado let's get on it guys we've made it way back into this bayou i have never been back here this far not having any luck but there's definitely some deeper water back here and by deeper i mean most of this bayou has been three feet at max and i'm finally finding oh oh y'all first fish on y'all that feels like a good one too all right we're talking three and a half hours in maybe four hours first fish i was wondering if there would be some fish back here found this deeper water now this back here is anywhere from six to seven feet so that's a nice one y'all you might come in right at slot check it out Get in them on up here. All right. Chill out, buddy. Yeah, man, that is a beautiful redfish. The colors on him back here in this deeper water. There we go. Man. Y'all take a look at that red. That is absolutely gorgeous. Bright orange fins. Got some yellow and green still left in the tail. Man, that's a pretty fish. Let's get a measurement on him. He's probably kind of come in anywhere from 18 to 20 inches, if I had to guess. Yeah. And he's gonna come in right past 19, y'all. That is a nice redfish. I'm fresh out of redfish in the freezer, so we are gonna keep him. We're gonna get him bled out real quick. Easy way to do that with these redfish is just poke your finger and puncture. Right there. And right there. Break that bloodline. Chunk them in the bag, get them on ice. Redfish number one, y'all. Get that bag out of the way. Oop. There's another one, y'all. All right. Oh, y'all, that's a, I think that's a trout. Seems like a solid one, too. Oh, I was wondering if this deeper water back here would be holding trout. And I think I was right. That was so worth the paddle after y'all. After all, y'all. Come here, buddy. Hey, he's... Oh, I snagged him. Okay. He's not a monster. He just felt like it because he was snagged. Calm down. Calm down. That's a decent trout, though. He might actually be legal. 
If I can get them to calm down. Calm down. There we go. Man, that made this all worth it to come way back here. I was worried I was going to kill a lot of time coming to check out a new area and not catch any fish. But it seems like as soon as I hit that deeper water that you can see on the map. Oh yeah, y'all, he's 16. Guess what? He's going in the cooler. Oh. Going in the cooler. Along with Mr. Redfish. Check him out. Boom. right in this area just bouncing it off the bottom we're in about six feet of water much deeper water than any other water around everything else is about two and a half three and a half feet deep found this area on Google Maps was hoping that the darker color stood for deeper water that seems to be the case we've got a few fish stacked up in here See if we can find some more. Oh, oh. Got him, y'all. Got another fish. Where are you at? Where are you? What in the heck is this? Gotta be a red. Gotta be a red. Y'all, we done found a fish. Took about three miles of paddling. But... Oh, y'all, that's a big trout. No, it's not. It's a red. <laughs> I could have swore I saw silver. That's all right. It's another fish in the boat. He's a little bit smaller. Oh, there he goes. That's all right. I got the fight. That's all I wanted out of him. Yo, I wasn't recording for that one. I was not ready for him. Little trout. Hit it right on this deep end. Somehow this thing hooked himself, wrapped himself, and then rehooked himself. I don't even know how that happens, but it did. Look at that. It's a big old knotted mess. He was sitting right before this bend in this deeper water. He's a little 11 incher, croaking away. What's that? So I turned around. I'm making another pass through that cut that I fished and picked up a few fish on. Um, I have changed over. I'm using the Miradine Heavy Dean. I want to see if throwing a different lure option will pick up some more fish. I do feel like that there's more fish in this area than what I caught. I want to see if changing lures would help me pick up a few more fish. And the other benefit to this is I'm fishing back into the wind right now, and this Miradine can still cast a country mile back into this wind. Yeah, I bet. You got here a lot quicker than I thought you would. <laughs> I couldn't help it, man. I started back into this part of the bayou and I started looking at the map again. I'm like, I gotta go check it out. Oh, man, but this is where it starts dropping off. So the, all the way back here, it's like three feet oh, yeah. uh, up until right around this area. This is where I started catching all these fish. Yeah, all this right here is around anywhere from five to eight feet. Yeah. All right, y'all, I found another trout. All right. Man. He's gonna be close. I think he might be a little short. But y'all, today was about finding that deeper water. Man, he's gonna be close. Solid fish back here. Let's see what we got, y'all. Oh yeah, yeah, now we're good, 16. All right, y'all, that's 216 in the boat. Two keeper trout. Going in the bag.
they're loving these things jigged off the bottom man i, I switched to a miradine a little hard bait and did a bunch of twitching up top and they they want nothing to do with it Ooh, got one y'all what we got is that a trout yo is that a trout tell me that's a trout that's a beast of a trout if it's oh yo that's a beast that's a 20 i think please don't come off please don't come off come here oh he's barely hooked no about to get pushed into this grass come here come here stay down I thought that was a red he slammed that thing so hard you don't get too many trout that pull drag come here buddy come here buddy he just does not want to give up get in the net yes Woo yes Oh my good and it fell right out. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. This is the biggest trout I've caught back here in the bayou. <laughs> Look at that trout. Woo! Oh, that's the thumbnail right there. Dang. That thing is fat. Found my new favorite fishing spot back here. My biggest trout for the bayou. 21 and a half, y'all. Almost 21 and three quarter. Look at that. Almost a 22 inch trout. That thing is beautiful. We won't let this fish go though. I don't like keeping them over 20. Thank you, pretty thing. Let's get you back in the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. 21 three quarter. Yeah, see bends like this is what I like fishing. It's usually where they're hanging out. Down right up. Right around the points right before the drop off there we go right up point right near the drop off what we got hey, <laughs> that's gotta be a red yeah <laughs> Yeah, come here, Mr. Red. Come on. Good, not you ain't that big. Don't get around that crab pot. I'm gonna have to tighten this drag. Oh, oh. Tightening the drag ain't working either. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. He's fighting like he's a beast. Let's see what we got here. If I had to guess, maybe mid 20s, 24, 25, somewhere around there. I haven't got a good look at him yet, but the way he's fighting. All right, let's loosen the drag. I don't want you pulling the hook. Man, come here. That's a nice red for back here. Man, they're deep. They're so deep back in this bayou, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one there. You know, gave me a little workout. Come here. Come here. Oh, 
he choked that thing too. Come on. All right. Yo, another redfish. Let's see what we got here. Boom. Man, that's a chunky one. Dude, it's chunky. Hook fell right out. Y'all check that out. Beautiful red. It's probably 23, 24 inches. Put up one heck of a fight. It's fat, y'all. Y'all can see the stomach on that thing, but this thing has been eating healthy. Let's get a measurement on it. We're going to keep him. Puts us another redfish in the freezer. Might even do fish tacos tonight. All right. The board is 24. And his nose. Yep. Yeah, pinch tail comes in at 24 inches, y'all. Another beautiful fish. Beautiful day on the water. It took three to four hours to find the fish. But when we did, it's been game on. We ain't got a whole lot of time left, guys. Uh, we're going to fish for maybe another 15 minutes or so. We got at least an hour paddle back to the boat ramp. This was such an awesome find to get way back here, super deep into this bayou. That's where these fish have been holding up. But we do have quite the treacherous pedal back with these 15 mile an hour winds. So we're going to fish a little bit more, see if we can get another fish in the boat and then turn around and make that trek back home. Got another one, y'all. Little rat red. All right, what you <laughs> he choked that thing too. Good night. For such a small red, that thing is gone. Calm down. thing is down in his stomach there we go hooks out all right y'all another red in the boat a little skinny guy he's probably 16 maybe 17 inches that's an, yet another one that's on the am fishing lure i gotta look it up i'll show y'all a picture of it here in a second but uh another one in the boat Thank you. 